Alright guys, it's Max here for another Union Cross video and I just want to start the day by saying Happy New Year. Um, I hope you all had a fun time celebrating it and yeah, I hope the New Year brings uh, lots of good things for you uh, in life in general and hopefully in this game as well. Um, but yeah, um, like last year was like quite crazy for me. I've been at college, I've got work and then I started this as well so my time's been like really like divided. Um, I'm going to try and put more time into this if I can possibly like try and get more videos up but with me being at college and work it's going to be quite limited still but I'm still going to keep like at least like one or two videos coming a week anyway. But I just want to say thank you for subscribing anyway and just liking and just just I don't know just watching my videos it just it means a lot to me so just thank you. Anyway um, obviously they've updated the background which says happy new year and it looks nice. I like it when they do stuff like that. It just shows that they're actually like, you know, thinking about like the community and stuff. So yeah, I do like all that stuff. And we got quite a lot of updates this morning. So let's jump into them. Um, what have we got? We have, not you. Why does it do that? All the notices. Uh, what have we got? So, puppy tail, red and white scarf, union cross. To load up. No, so, uh, pretty much just the same. So you get one magic broom set, and there's like a couple of magic mirrors. Um, item drop pack, which is always good. Like especially if like I don't know, like the previous Union Cross quest where you want to like you know the medals to drop, you put your item drop packs on, and more should drop eventually. Um, yeah. So complete them. It's something to do during the week. All good. January Coliseum. This one's quite an interesting one. Um, defense boost free max and puppy years. Um, I'm not too bothered about the puppy years, but defense boost free max, I definitely want. So if you can try and grind out, try and grind that out just to make sure you get the one copy. All you need is one really, like because if you've got defense boost free max on a medal, like say for example, Hannah Pens and Olette, it's going to be a monster. Like it's just going to literally just, oh, it's, it's going to be so good. But yeah. Um, not too fond of the puppy ears, but I can imagine a lot of people will be, so it's all good. Bonus jewels and special attack bonus campaign. So, if you've been saving your medals for a while, which I do, I just guilt them and just just hope for the best. Sometimes it, it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, like my um, Arthur I got a while ago, I got that, uh, I rolled that and there was no special attack campaign. And I got that to 199, so one mirror, not bad at all, but it could have been a lot worse. Bonus jewels, it's not really worth it. Like, I'd like to see these increase the campaign bonus jewels. I would like to see more skip tickets. I've got that many, I don't know what to do with them, so that makes a little difference to me. But yeah, so, as you can see, there's a boosted... Um, there's a boosted campaign range. So for a tier 7, the minimum you can roll is 160%, which means you're, you're going to need 40 mirrors. But mirrors are that frequent now. It's, it's not such a bad thing. So if you've got your medals, guilt them, roll them, get them done. It's the best time to do it. Just, just literally, just guilt everything you can, really. Except if you think it's going to be for a high score challenge, save them, because you might need them. Extra bonus is always good. Limited time EX four tellers fall in price deals. That's a mouthful. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. What we got? Five four tell five four teller medals are back, and these incredible fall in price deals get each of the returning EX medals within twenty draws from their respective deals. That is good, but I'm pretty sure there's a downside. Um, with the falling price deal, the jewels cost will decrease with each pull. I think I've worked it out. It's roughly about forty-one thousand jewels, so it's saving you. Uh, like last time, it was fifteen. Was it fifteen plus? Was it fifteen? No, it was twenty-one. At yeah, yeah, it was. I've worked it out. It's roughly about forty-one thousand jewels. Roughly, just you can work the calculations out yourself. You just work out what each price would be. For the first five, and then you know the last fifteen are going to be one thousand nine hundred. Um, it's good that it's falling price deal. Um, these medals are still relevant in my opinion. A lot of them are good high score challenge medals like Era, Acid, um, and Ava. Really good, like 
um, high score challenge medals because obviously they hit AOE, they hit single target with more damage and they're only one hit so they are really good for high score challenges because they can take out groups and individual enemies with like precision basically. Yeah, it's not going to it's a load. But yeah, I've already been through them. Pretty good medals. Um, don't know what much to say about them really. Like, yeah, they are still relevant, but I don't know. I, I don't need to pull for them. I'd rather pull from the, um, what's it called? The debut banner because you get one of the medals guaranteed and you're going to get a trait on it if you pull, like, if you're lucky enough to pull twice, like, and you get the same medal twice. Whereas that, yeah, you guaranteed you you guaranteed it after twenty draws, but well, within twenty draws, but probably you're only gonna be the one if like you might be lucky and get another one like I did last time, but mm, I don't know. This I like. Daily present quest. Um So you get like a reward for each day and it's until the seventh or eighth of January, depending on where you are. You get things like skip tickets plus magic mirrors magic broom and even a Fantasia Mickey B. So make sure you're always trying to do these. Um, it's a nice little thing for them to give to us really, like any anything like brooms, Fantasia Mickey B's and mirrors, I like. It's a good quest. I don't know why the banners are not loaded, but oh well. On to the next one, and I think it's the last one, I believe. And uh, two more, weekly gem quest. It's pretty standard now. You've got to use the Stroke of Midnight to complete the quest. But I like the, I like the fact that they're doing that. They're making it a bit more challenging. But like I say, if you've got Kairi EX or Shioni EX, it's not going to be that challenging. Um, I think most of these you'll be able to do with 0.2 Kairi as long as you've got like good supporting medals for F, Like, you know, good strong hard hitting medals. So yeah. Um, but three gems, good. Level up your Keyblades. Amazing. Kia 14 VIP quests and more. I love the look of this medal. Like Halloween Town Sora, it just looks so cool. Like, just the design is amazing. Um, obviously this is called Kia 14, and it's quite interesting, really. Um, so Kia 14, let's get the picture up there. Yeah, so are you? Let's have it like that. So Kia 14 includes artwork. So, it's speed, upright, tier 7, raises upright strength by 1 tier, and PSM defense by 2 tiers for 1 turn. It's also, it also cures you by level 3, single target, and it's a 4 gauge cost. I don't know what the multiplier is, but if you can roll extra attack on this, that's 2 upright strength, and 4 PSM defense. So, it's buffing your attack and your defense. Like, obviously, if you pair this with, like... Um, carry X. That's four upright strength, and you've got a good defense buff as well already. That's that's amazing. It's it is a good medal. Like even if you don't have carry EX, um, this can buff your upright strength because that's what probably a lot of people are missing. So it is definitely a good medal in my opinion. Like I know it's only single target, but. It gives you the buff anyway, so if you set early enough, all your medals will benefit from it anyway. So yeah, yeah, good medal. And that is it, guys. Um, like I said, um, I hope you are all having like a good new year. Um, leave your resolutions down in the comment section. I'd like to know if you've got any interesting ones. Um, but yeah, my resolution um, is to make more films. Um, I'm like I'm at college studying inter interactive media. And my main thing is like I want to get into the film industry. Like, like I'd love to be a high-end director, but I know that's quite possibly never going to happen. But I'm going to try my hardest to get there. But I'm going to try and make more independent films, and I might bring them to the channel if, like, I don't know if that's something you'd like. Please let me know in the comments because I would really like to bring them to the channel just to let, like, you know, get feedback from people. Um. Like I've got I've got a couple of ideas at the minute because I'm in a band as well, so I want to do a music video for us and I've already got like the storyboard and everything, just waiting for um the stars to align so we can all meet and just get this video done. But yeah, um yeah, so if you'd let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that, that would be appreciated. But yeah, um hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!